Hello Collective, welcome back to the channel. This is your intuitively awakened star seed here with a message for the collective, divine feminine, divine masculine, welcome. And thank you guys so, so much for stopping by. This is going to be a timeless message. It is a, a general reading. It is for the collective and it is for entertainment purposes only. If you know, you know. Y'all, please always remember to take only what resonates with you. Always use your discernment during your messages, during your readings, you guys. This is for all zodiac signs. Thank you guys so, so much for all of your support. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, thank you for all of your support, your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I appreciate you guys so, so much. I am sending you love, light, gratitude, Palo Santos as well, y'all. Let's get some incense going here as well, you guys. Yeah. Wow. Thank you for joining me on this journey of love and enlightenment. I appreciate you guys so, so much. We're going to go ahead and tap in Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. We're going to go ahead and take a look at your the current energy surrounding your connection with you and your person, okay? We're going to take a look at um, what the true intentions are. Now, when I say you and your person, this could be someone that you are currently in union with. You could be in no contact with. Um, you could be separated from, right? It could be a temporary separation or, you know, please take it how it resonates, you guys. But we're going to go ahead and uh, tap in here and see what the message is for the collective. As always, you guys, please remember to take only what resonates with you. What does not, please leave it. All energy is fluid, so it can be for your past, your present, your future, he, she, him, her, people, places, things. Y'all, let's tap into the who, what, when, where, and why. First, I'm getting the energy. I'm picking up on cancer energy. Okay. Oh, something to do with cancer energy. And I'm picking up on emotions, attachment, love, passion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm getting here, you guys. Um, definitely seeing here, it's like somebody is not saying something or it's like someone is it's like hidden emotions. Somebody is hiding their emotions, their feelings. But I'm definitely picking up on that equinox type of energy, right? So it's like, um, especially now, this is a timeless message. So, you know, as always, please take what resonates and, you know, take it, flip it, switch the roles. You know, whenever you receive this message, this is, you know, your message, right? But I'm getting here. I'm picking up on Leo energy. I'm also getting that energy of harvest, right? So someone harvesting. Um, I feel like seeds of love, seeds were planted is what I'm getting, right? So it's like something's not, something's not over, something's not finished. So I feel like when I'm saying that, there is some type of separation here or a no contact with a, someone specific, right? Your specific person. And I'm picking up on hidden emotions, but these emotions are being awakened by this person. Now, this person could be, because mm, I'm picking up on change, something surrounding harvest, you know, that harvest season as well. Equinox, seeds being planted, harvesting love, but it's like the timing. I feel like this is hidden and why I'm getting the energy of this hidden. Oh, confirmation, y'all. Why I'm getting the energy of this being hidden. I feel like for some of you guys, this person could definitely be in some type of connection with someone, right? During this separation, no contact, there could be another energy, right? But it's like whatever this person is not saying is going to surprise you. I'm picking up on illusions surrounding this connection that you guys share, right? There's a very strong soul connection here that I'm picking up on, right? But there's hidden emotions during this separation or no contact. 
but it's currently being awakened. So it's like the seeds, I'm getting the seeds were planted, right? That soul activation took place. There's a soul tie, a soul connection, right? But there's a separation going on, okay? Yeah. So something's being awakened with this person, these hidden emotions, these hidden feelings, right? And I keep hearing something to do with a confession, right? So Divine Feminine, I feel like there's a confession, a confession of love on the horizon. But we're going to take a look and see. Someone's definitely been hiding their feelings, okay? Definitely been hiding their feelings. I'm picking up on Gemini energy. Mmm. There's an, oh, so there's that passion. There's that love that I was picking up on. There it is. It's showing up, right? Gemini is representative of the lover's card of union, but also that duplicitous type of energy, right? Sometimes a Gemini can be very difficult to read, right? Now, when I'm picking up on that illusion surrounding this connection, right? This person, you may not feel as though this person is attached to you. You may not feel as though your feelings are reciprocated or this person feels the same way, Divine Feminine. That's what I'm getting. It's like you may feel that, and that's, that's that Gemini energy. So there could be a Gemini involved here. I'm seeing the number three, third party. There's another energy that I'm picking up on. But I feel like this person, they're not, they're operating in that energy, not easy to read, Divine Feminine. That's what I'm getting. There's some illusions. This person has been hiding their emotions. This is someone that's been suppressing their emotions for you. But whatever they're not saying or what they didn't say, there's a confession coming I'm getting a confessions on the horizon and it's going to surprise you. This is unexpected, unexpected energy here. Cards flying because somebody, somebody's definitely in a situation that they're no longer able to adapt to. They're no longer in alignment with this energy that they're in. There's that cancer energy showing up. So... <laughs> I'm picking up on Cancer energy. I'm also picking up on Pisces energy. Now I'm getting heavy Pisces and heavy Gemini energy. A lot of illusions. This is definitely, this is confirmation that there is something hidden. I'm seeing the number 12. Somebody um, could have a birthday on the 12th. But I'm also seeing here with numerology, two and one is three. There's somebody else in this energy and I'm seeing three with this person no longer being able to adapt. So I'm definitely seeing angel number 333 could be very significant for someone, but heavy Pisces energy, I'm picking up on some cancer and heavy Gemini energy, okay? And we do have Leo energy on the board. So very passionate, very, very passionate there's some very strong emotions that have been hidden for you, right? With this person. But there's a shift going on, right? It is like an equinox, right? There's a shift going on. Wow, you have the key. You hold the key. Somebody can also have a uh, Gemini moon is what I'm seeing here. But this is someone I'm picking up on that energy. I'm seeing like the chariot, right? Um, you know, a, a mode of transportation or someone just breaking free. I'm getting that escapism type of energy. Somebody breaking free of what no longer serves them or what they're no longer aligned with is what I'm getting, Divine Feminine, with this energy, okay? And that's what's giving me that cancer energy because I'm picking up on the chariot card. There's ties being cut. Somebody wants out of a situation. That's what I'm getting. Now, Divine Feminine, please take it, flip it, switch the roles because this could be you as well. But I'm definitely picking up on this Divine Masculine's energy. It's like whomever you're separated from. Now, there is a, I'm getting that third party energy, right? 
Yeah, please give us more for the collective. Whatever this person's not saying, they're going to surprise you. And there's a surprise confession is what I'm getting. Unexpected? Wow. Emotions, extreme intense emotions. There's chaos and conflict going on. There's chaos and conflict going on right now. I'm getting between this divine masculine and this karmic third party. And again, take it, flip it, switch the roles. But there's a shift happening. Scorpio energy showing up on the board. There's a lot of passion that this divine masculine can no longer ignore. And this passion is with you. So it's like I'm getting heightened It's like heightened chaos, conflict, right? Something to do with the receipts. It's like a confrontation. So this karmic, this third party, whomever this is, this person that's in this divine masculine's energy, that ain't you, they realize and this ain't you, but there's some type of confrontation going on. Because I'm looking at this and I'm seeing, look, it's like somebody being confronted with receipts, with a document, with a screenshot, something like that. So it's like whatever has been hidden concerning the emotions involving you, Divine Feminine, has been revealed. Chap, please give us more for the collective. Ooh, what else we got? Well, dang. There's something being revealed here. Libra energy, very charming and honest, real. So truth being revealed. I'm getting enlightened. It's like this karmic, whatever they're confronting this divine masculine with has something to do with this divine masculine trying to get or have another chance with you, trying to rebuild with you. There's something that this karmic has found. Now, this could be an unsent message, but this could also be a conversation between this divine masculine check, tapping in back and forth with someone. Back and forth, because that Gemini energy, two sides, back and forth, right? Jupiter is significant. I'm getting Jupiter, something to do. There's an alignment here, Libra and Jupiter. You guys, make sure you're checking your natal charts, your birth charts, so that you do get the most from your reading, checking your placements, your aspects, your conjuncts, right? But I'm seeing here, there's something to do with Jupiter, but also this confrontation, there's honesty, truth has been revealed. But I feel like this has been happening over a period of time. Divine Feminine, this has been happening. Whatever, it, it's like there's been spying or something going on with this karmic third party. And, you know, up until this point, they've been spying and they've been slowly finding out things. But I feel like they found some type of proof that this Divine Masculine is still in love with you. And it's like this Divine, it's in this Divine Masculine's own words. So it's like an undeniable thing, right? Libra energy, the truth is out. And I feel like this confrontation with, I'm getting, it's like, this divine masculine, there could be messages because I'm picking up on energy that this divine masculine has been maybe messaging someone back and forth about you or trying to get information about you or trying to get advice about you. This divine masculine could have been getting tarot readings, oracle readings, um, speaking to a spiritualist. There's um, an intuitivist seeking wise counsel trying to get a deep spiritual knowing about you, Divine Feminine. Something to do about a deep spiritual knowing or understanding you or understanding this connection. 
So there's something that this, they found this, they found the receipts because I'm getting like screenshots. This divine masculine is being confronted. But this Libra energy that's showing up, this divine masculine is not going to like lie or not say. They're not denying their feelings for you. So there's all types of chaos and conflict going on, y'all, because this is a protected connection. This is protected, right? Aries energy on the board. There's growth. I'm seeing the number one. There's something, a new beginning, right? There's a new beginning. There's a shift. So remember I was saying harvest. The seeds have been planted. Something to do with an Aries moon. Somebody could have an Aries moon. Okay? But there's something to do with this divine masculine. They're soliciting advice. Soliciting some type of input. Concerning reconciling with you. Reconnecting. And they found out this karmic scene. That that's what this is all about. So this karmic was snooping and they had the truth. Because it's like, I'm getting, do you think the divine feminine, this is what I'm hearing, like, do you think the divine feminine still cares for me? Did you see divine feminine? Which changing with divine feminine? Is divine feminine, I'm getting like a lot of questions, right? surrounding you and I feel like that's what this karmic third party found out they found the receipts yeah chow that's what I'm getting wow so there that's what I'm getting like this something to do with screenshots something to do with social media this is, this divine masculine has been heavy into spiritual growth and awakening and how it aligns with your connection and with you, divine feminine. Ciao. The truth is out. Uh-huh. The truth is out. Whatever this person's not saying, I'm getting will surprise you, right? Ooh, what else we got? Drama is unfolding. Leo energy, the passion, strength coming back towards you, divine feminine. Courage. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Right, when I said that, Leo energy, courage to come back towards you. The courage, right? That's what that's the courage to open the lines of communication, the courage to reach out to you, the courage to come back towards you. There's drama surrounding this. That's why this divine masculine has been working behind the scenes is what I'm getting, trying to get information, trying to get a leg up on how you truly feel. If they have a chance, this divine masculine cannot deal. I'm getting there's something where this divine masculine cannot... You, any rejection from you would destroy this divine masculine. That's what I'm getting. And there's barriers up. This divine masculine knows they got like one chance to get it right with you. If you ever give them a chance, they don't want to mess it up. But I'm seeing here, this divine masculine is getting the courage, the nerve, right? Yeah, the strength to come back towards you. But they've been working with people. Now, I'm also seeing an image of a birth chart here, right? So again, make sure you're checking your natal charts, your birth charts, checking those placements, those aspects. This divine masculine is definitely trying to get a deeper understanding of what has them so attached to you, right? Because it's like, this divine masculine wants to fix this. They want to fix this connection, this detachment, right? You being detached from them. They want to be able to break these walls down and they need to understand this connection. 
this divine masculine has been reaching out. This karmic third party has seen this. Like it's research has been opened up trying to decode. This divine masculine is trying to decode their emotions, trying to decode this connection that you guys have. Yeah, because they realize this is something different. But there's all kinds of chaos and conflict happening now. Child. Child. Look, what did I just say? Coral arguing over you, right? Over what they found. Over what they found. Seeking ye shall find. Now cancer energy showing up again, right? Getting that cancer energy. Cancer Mars. Somebody could have a cancer Mars conjunct. Y'all, this is very strong energy, right? This divine masculine is not denying their emotions. I feel like this karmic third party thought when they confronted this divine masculine with these screenshots of them spying, this divine masculine was going to, you know, backtrack. You know, try and cover up. This divine masculine didn't try and cover up anything. I feel like they confessed their true emotions. And I feel like there's a confession coming towards you. But I feel like this karmic is sure. Because again, that Gemini energy, I'm picking up on a lot of duality, right? Duplicitous. And it, it's like somebody is very duplicit, right? Duplicity is what I'm picking up on. I could get this right. Yes. See? And all of this is over with this karmic third party discovered Sagittarius energy on the board. Woo! This karmic no they done took a loss. Pisces energy on the board. Those hidden emotions. I feel like they're going to shock you. This karmic third party's already in shock, right? Mm-hmm. Wow. This divine masculine, it's been suppressed. I feel like hidden emotions, they're devoted to you. This divine masculine is devoted to you. Oh, and nothing's changing that. Aquarius energy just showed up and you know, Aquarius marches to the beat of their own drummer, right? So you got like, there's like a mixture of that Gemini and Aquarius energy. So the flip side, right? And this divine masculine standing on business, right? So this karmic third party feels like this divine masculine switched up. But I mean, this has been this divine masculine's emotions. They were hidden. So whatever they're not saying will surprise you. These hidden emotions are awakened. The seeds were already planted. So I'm getting that energetic that energetic exchange happened, okay? There was a, a soul activation. This is twin flame energy, y'all. And I always pick up on that twin flame energy, but I'm getting that, right? Child, I feel like I got the main line in with the, with the twin flame. Intuitive to like this twin flame energy, right? But your intuition should be going off. Oh, yeah. Definitely picking up on that, y'all. Let's go ahead and get some more cards here. What's happened to my oracles here? Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Yeah. Please give us more for the collective. What? What? Wait a minute. Right when I split the deck, y'all, I cannot make this up. Right when I split the deck. Look what came out. You see that? A love confession. I knew it. I was picking up on this from the very beginning of the reading. There's a love confession coming in. Uh-huh. Yup. You got a love confession coming in, right? Mmm. Dang, boo, you pressure. This is by masculine cannot let you go. They can't let you go. This is somebody that messed up with you in the past. They fumbled you, right? But there's a love confession. This person cannot let you go. 
Come through. Come through. Look at that. This person cannot let you go. And they're about to make a move. They're about to make a move. <laughs> Look at that. Chow. This person thought by emulating you, by copycatting you, that they were they really came in between this connection. They couldn't. They could not. Wow, that's wow. That first card, I'm telling you, y'all. This person, there was a degree of immaturity, right? And what I mean by immaturity is this person was not used to this type of connection. Somebody being so sweet and kind like you, Divine Feminine. That genuine, loving, healing, nurturing energy. They weren't used to it. Mm -mm. What else we got? Somebody is... Mm. This karmic is what? Come through spirit. So they were being nosy, right? They were being nosy. Uh-huh. This divine masculine is trying to learn about you even though you're in separation, even though you're in no contact, right? This divine masculine is trying to learn what makes you happy. Remember I was saying? Trying to decode this connection. Yeah. Yeah. To repair it. Ooh. Where I belong. This divine masculine realizes you are where they belong. Ooh. Child. There is a major shift. I feel like this is what this person is hiding, right? They've been suppressing. It's like what this person is not saying. So when you guys separated, I feel like this person really did not say much. They really did not say much, right? But I feel like what they weren't saying would have changed everything. It would have changed everything. They trying to learn your love languages while y'all separated y'all? Yeah. Mm. What else we got? I keep seeing you. Why owe you? It's all about you, right? They realized that they needed growth. They couldn't handle this type of love the way you were loving on them. This divine masculine was is trying. This divine masculine didn't even know how to reciprocate, right? They did not. What else we got? Please give us more. Mmm. Somebody is like really the type of person, and I feel like this is this karmic. They're like really worried about, you know, getting a lot of attention, but you're different. Come through, spirit. You're different. You're, you are, you're genuine. Your love was genuine. I feel like I'm seeing something to do with 2024. This must have been a very tumultuous year. Right? And again, this is a timeless message. But I feel like this is significant. 2024? Mmm. Two, two, and four. Y'all, due to numerology, I feel like it's significant for somebody. You're about to see another side to this divine masculine that you didn't know existed. Yep. Wait a minute. There's something to do with a video that they found. This karmic third party found something, a video or something concerning you. Oh, they could have been watching video or a video of you <clears throat> or getting video readings. Remember I was saying this person is getting tarot readings, oracle readings, seeking wise counsel. Yes. Mm-hmm. Or they could have seen this person's comments on a video. Look at the next card. That's what they're confronting them about. So it's something to do with social media or something like that. This karmic's been like spying on this divine masculine. 
Now, this could be significant as well. There could be some spell work here because I'm seeing seeking wise counsel. It could be a practitioner involved, something like that with this divine masculine. So it's like this whole time, this divine masculine has been focused on you. And waiting for a sign from you, divine feminine. Waiting for a sign from you. Child, this, this karmic them found out. They are a placeholder is what I'm getting. Mm. There's a lot of chaos going on over you, Divine Feminine. Whatever this person's not saying is definitely going to surprise you. And I feel like this is a lot of it here. I feel like this is confirmation of this person's true emotions, their true feelings, right? Mmm. You're a gift. I'm seeing gift. This person sees you as a gift. And I keep seeing love is blind. But I'm hearing that song. It's like, it's by Eve. Love is blind. It'll take over your mind. That, that, that's what I'm hearing, right? Something like that. So this karmic, I feel like. They, they, this was, they thought that this divine masculine was locked into them. Yeah. And they're losing it. It then took over their mind. Unhinged, right? Oh, child. Mm, 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 mm. Leave. And then any time. And then I'm seeing copycat. Oh, and I'm seeing this sending. So there's an unsent message. I feel like this karmic did. That's confirmation right there. This karmic third party found an unsent message. Love confessions to you from this divine masculine. And I'm seeing leave anytime cap copycat. So this divine masculine then told this karmic third party during this confrontation, you can leave any time. It's not that serious. Oh, you see how these cards came out? Because this is a copycat energy. This is somebody that is like a shape-shifting type of energy, trying to be you, trying to emulate divine feminine energy. But they, they, they don't possess the essence of you, right? Look, now see, huh? That's giving side piece. That's giving a slide. That's giving, I'm seeing Miss Church Jezebel. I'm seeing situationship. Somebody is hard at work because they want you, Divine Feminine. Look at that. Hard at work because they want you in this karmic third party found out behind the scenes. Whatever this person was not saying to you, they're finding all of this out behind the scenes. The karmic third party is, right? Because they're hard at work. This divine masculine because they want you. Hard at work. Look at that. And obsessed with your physical beauty. So this divine masculine keeps looking at you. They keep watching you. Now, this could be on your social media. This could be pictures that they still have of you, videos. You could even have a um, a platform, right? Where this divine masculine, they faithfully watch you. Now, I cannot make this up. This is all tea, right? No shade. Free from the imposter. They want to be free from the imposter. Oh my goodness, y'all. This deck, that's why I was guided. Spirits may guide me to use these decks. And there's the Aquarius energy. Remember I said 
See, that's that cold energy standing on business, that detachment, that Aquarius detachment right there. Because I'm seeing you can leave any time, copycat, right? You, It's not that serious. And then it's not that serious. Wow. Aquarius energy. Somebody could be an Aquarius. Uh-huh. Aquarius, that, that Aquarius heart's loyal. This divine masculine could have some Aquarius in their chart for real. What I tell y'all, it's not that serious. I'm seeing for the streets. Come through, spirit. Mm-hmm. This divine masculine is trying to heal this connection. And thinking of a master plan to get back to you. Healing this connection and thinking of a master plan to come back towards you, divine feminine. Now, this you could have this person. For some of you guys... They could be spying on you from um, fake profiles, right? Or using somebody else's profile. You know, y'all, these in separation from their divine counterpart, their divine feminine, these divine masculines be like real creative, like IT creative, tech creative, right? This divine masculine's a little more... Um, savvy than maybe you realize divine feminine but i'm seeing you may have them blocked and deleted but they still watching huh promises promises right promises of i'm getting you guys made promises to one another there could be broken promises here or this divine masculine keeping their promise. Now, with regards to a twin flame connection, divine feminine, divine masculine, divine counterparts, this definitely is indicative of a long-term connection and engagement, um, cohabitating, um, marriage, lifelong connection. When we say promise, right? So this divine masculine wants to make good on that promise. That's why that's showing up. Oh, what else we got? Please give us more. They haven't been happy. They haven't been happy since you. I'm seeing something to do with have some fun. What else we got? Please give us more. You pressure. I keep saying pressure. Or this divine masculine is under pressure. They were distorted. This distorted masculine ended up in a karmic cycle. Mm. Lessons learned. Lessons learned. There's a cancer energy showing up. Something to do with a neighbor. And I was thinking that too. This divine masculine could be getting information from your neighbors or you could be like noticing something to do with like your neighbors, like watching you or something like that, or just like being strange. This divine masculine could be getting information from your neighbors, divine feminine. Yeah. I feel like that's really specific for someone. Uh-huh. Please give us more for the collective. Oh, there's a confirmation. Soul contract. This is part of a cosmic blueprint because this is by masculine. This is a karmic cycle that they're in. So I'm getting there's a karmic soul contract here. But then I'm picking up on this twin flame, right? Twin flame. There's definitely a contract, though, right, with them, Divine Masculine. And look at this. You are all I need. Come through, Spirit. Come through, Spirit. So all of this chaos and conflict, <laughs> this Divine Masculine has been trying, they have been planning, putting in the work behind the scenes 
This Divine Masculine is very quiet, very difficult to read, right? I'm seeing checkers. Somebody playing checkers. This Divine Masculine's playing chess. Strength to come back towards you. There it is. Leo energy on the board, right? Mm-hmm. That Leo placement, right? We got Pisces, Aquarius, Gemini, Cancer. Ooh. And there is trouble. This karmic's plot has backfired. Do you see that? Mm-hmm. And they're trying to make things complicated. This divine masculine is mesmerized. Wow. Heavy karmic energy. This is a karmic cycle. I keep seeing karmic in this deck, y'all. Heavy karmic energy. And this is a lesson learned. This divine masculine sad, broken hearted without you is what I'm getting. But there is a major transformation. Angel number 1010. Transformation. You see that? Yeah, there's a transformation happening with this Divine Masculine. Because they're doing the work, they're learning, they're doing a lot of introspection, a lot of inner work, and they're also learning about this connection that they share with you, Divine Feminine. There's a lot of learning getting... <laughs> this Divine Masculine is done. I'm seeing get, get away... So this karmic confronted this divine masculine about you. And I'm seeing, we got getaway. This could be a getaway. You guys going on a getaway too. But I'm picking up on this karmic energy, right? It's like, leave any time, copycat. I'm getting sly. I'm getting Jezebel energy. I'm getting get away or they want to get away from this person. So this karmic confronting this divine masculine, it all backfired. You fine as wine to this divine masculine. What? Dang it. See? See? Look. Situationship. Illusions. This karmic cycle, this karmic could be running around and telling people in the community, like and telling people like, oh, me and Divine Masculine, we're taking things to the next level. Look what the next card is, Distorted Feminine. I can't make this up. Fragmented, distorted, unhinged, right? Delusional. This karmic is the Lulu. But whatever this person's not saying, this karmic uncovered it. Being nosy, right? Being snooping, going through this divine masculines. I'm getting their media, their electronic, um, their their um, social media, their phone. That's what I'm getting too. Something to do with the code, like they got their passcode or something. Something to do when this divine masculine was sleeping. They got the tea, so this divine masculine could have been awakened from their sleep, right? Yeah, this divine masculine could have been awakened from their sleep, their rest, being confronted. Yeah. But it backfired. They didn't get the reaction they wanted. This karmic did not get the reaction that they thought they were going to get. Not at all. Mm, 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 mm. Ascension. Even though you're separated, they're still here. You see that? Still here. This divine masculine. They went nowhere. That love has not went anywhere. Even though, what did I tell y'all? This is, look at these cards. Sad piece. I can't make this up. It's all an illusion. Real love is with you. Okay. Okay. Somebody smoke cigars. Something to do with cigars. Somebody could smoke a cigars. Ah. Uh, they want to be back in love with you, babe. Ooh. Now we're... Somebody calls somebody babe. I don't know where that just came from. Hard at work. They hard at work. 
something's consistent with three months, something happening in three months from the time that you get this reading, right? This person's hurt without you. The number three is significant. They're hurt, okay? They're hurt without you. You are their destiny, okay? But there's something, here's three days now. You could be receiving communication in three days. Something to do with three months. The number three is significant here, right? Optimistic. Three can signify optimism, faith, hope of reconciling with you, right? Something to do with this person being motivated in this divine masculine. Y'all, let's get some more cards here. Ciao. We get tapped in here. Tap, 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 and in. Okay. Let's get, you know what? Let's get the, let's get some tarot here. Let's see what's going on. Sarah, please give us more for the collective. What's ahead for this connection? Divine feminine, divine masculine. What's ahead for this connection? Ooh, y'all. What is ahead for this connection? Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Come on now. Come on now. Deck don't want to shuffle. Please give us more for the collective. Divine feminine, divine masculine. Something to do while you were sleeping. This is something that's been going on overnight. I'm hearing while you were sleeping. Yeah, something to do with while you were sleeping. Or this is when this karmic was going through this divine masculine's media, their computer, their phone. Yeah, please give us more. What's ahead? What's the outcome? Please give us more for the collective. Please give us more. Ooh, deep despair. Somebody's having a lot of anxiety here, I'm seeing. A lot of anxiety. Oh, this is the Divine Masculine. They're over this current situation. They don't want this karmic's love offers. But I'm seeing they're worried. This is why this Divine Masculine is trying to decode. They're trying to get a deep understanding concerning this connection between Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine between you and them. I'm seeing building blocks. I'm seeing building this big brick by brick. So rebuilding this foundation. It's like this Divine Masculine is ignoring communication now. So this Divine Masculine could have definitely ghosted this karmic third party because I'm seeing they're over it. And it's like the phone to the side type of energy. But there's love offers coming in. They don't want these love offers but they're worried, there's anxiety about you, right? A love offer coming from you, I mean, or coming towards you, whether you'll accept their love offer. The growth is here, okay? Emperor, knowing what they want, standing on business. See, this karmic is now introducing all of this petty energy. This divine masculine don't have time for that. They don't have time for that. No. What else we got? See the truth. Anxiety, this karmic, I'm seeing justice, right? Libra energy showing up again. There's justice. <laughs> the scales of justice, right? Uh-huh. Mm. Rebuilding brick by brick is showing up again. That three of pentacles, right? Rebuilding this foundation. <clears throat> Throw chakra. Throw chakra, y'all. Mm-hmm. This divine masculine standing on business when it comes to you. Very protective of you. This confrontation concerning you revealed how protective this divine masculine is over you. I feel like this karmic was snooping because they had a suspicion that this divine masculine was still in love with you. 
or that this this divine masculine had to be so attached to someone because they weren't fully vulnerable with this divine masculine or with this karmic, right? But I'm seeing here, they got the confirmation they needed. And they're still trying to manipulate this, right? And I feel like this divine masculine is very protective of you. So I feel like this karmic third party is bringing or saying negative things about you. And that was confirmation enough because this divine masculine don't play about you. So for some of you guys with this situation, this karmic third party could have said something out of line about you. And this divine masculine checked them, went off. That's why I'm getting, I'm picking up on that um, ghosting energy. Dang, somebody, this karmic is shook. Because they seen a different side. That Gemini energy is at play here. They see in the new side that this divine masculine don't talk about. Don't talk about divine feminine. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Spying energy. This divine masculine sees you as the queen of pentacles. Look at that. And they're out in the cold. But guess what? The king of pentacles coming home. You guys are mirroring one another, right? They're on the outside looking in. I'm getting that five of pentacles energy. It's like this divine masculine in the past was definitely influenced by outside energies, right? And I feel like that outside influence landed them out in the cold is what I'm getting. This divine masculine is addressing some type of energy surrounding them. But I'm seeing creating, right? Something to do with rebuilding and creating. I'm seeing this divine masculine, that Taurus energy, right? Very strong. Very strong energy coming towards you. Like this divine masculine, again, has been putting in a lot of work learning about this connection, decoding your um, emotions and this connection. But also, too... I'm getting that this divine masculine, very stable energy. They took a loss listening to someone else in the past. That's for somebody. Please take it how it resonates. What else we got? Oh, I'm seeing a new cycle beginning. Whatever this person, what this person's not saying or what they didn't say, it's going to surprise you. It will surprise you. And I feel like you may feel as though this person doesn't care. Because when you walked away, they didn't say much. They were hiding their emotions. Confession. I'm getting confession. That healing, loving, nurturing energy. This divine masculine is coming back to harvest. Boundaries being set with this toxic energy. I'm getting karmic third party. And anybody else, because again, this divine masculine has, I'm picking up on the energy, this divine masculine has actually, somebody, it was like they took advice from someone or someone, you know, there was someone else involved and it could have been this karmic third party in the past. Please take it how it resonates, right? But it was like an outside energy that ended them up on the outside looking in with you, Divine Feminine, out in the cold. There's boundaries being put in place. Yeah. Boundaries going in place, right? Look at that. And I'm seeing a victory. This divine masculine is listening to their intuition, their higher self, tapped into their higher self. And I feel like this karmic third party is seeing a shift in this divine masculine. Now, this karmic third party could definitely be someone from this divine masculine's past. 
because they're seeing a change. There's like a metamorphosis going on with this divine masculine. There's a shift. There's a change going on. They're seeing this divine masculine evolving because by this divine masculine trying to learn about you with this distance in between you and divine masculine, they're learning about themselves and they're on a spiritual awakening. They could be experiencing a dark night of the soul, right? But there's a major shift. This divine masculine's evolving. So even though you're in separation, this divine masculine is still evolving. You may not have thought that this divine masculine was listening, that they were paying attention, but they were. Those gems, those, those, those seeds, they were planted. And this divine masculine is coming back to harvest. But again, there is still an awakening that's happening in your absence, right? Even though your physical presence isn't there, that spiritual presence is still there. Those soul whispers is what I'm getting. I'm getting soul whispers, right? Because even though you're physically separated, the physical vessels are in separation, right? It does not stop that spiritual, that, that soul connection that you guys share, okay? So there's still ascension happening with this divine masculine and boundaries are being put in place. This toxic codependent energy, uh-uh. This divine masculine, mm-mm. What else we got? Oh, fast movement for a new cycle. Fast movement for a new cycle. I'm seeing again, we have Aquarius energy, Scorpio energy, Taurus energy. Capricorn energy, okay? Very much attracted to you, missing you. Here come the wands. These divine masculines. This karmic third party thought that they were sitting in your position. They thought that they had taken a divine feminine's position. They didn't even know how to handle this divine masculine. They couldn't do that in this lifetime or any other lifetime. This is your divine counterpart. This is the other part of your soul that they're trying to create a future with. how that sound? What'd that look like? Chaos, backfiring, and that's exactly what's happening, right? Yeah. Look at this. Look at this. I'm seeing here taking action to come back towards you, right? This divine masculine taking action to come back towards you. I'm seeing the wheel of fortune is turning, right? This karmic cycle is ending, divine feminine. I feel like the, it was triggered by this chaos, by this confrontation. Ciao. I'm Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo energy showing up here again. You are definitely being spied on. I'm hearing birds. There's a lot of gossip going on, Divine Feminine. So I'm hearing birds. But specifically, I'm hearing a hawk. You're being spied on. That eagle eye view, that hawk, that very precise. Watching your every move. This divine masculine sees who you truly are in your absence, right? They see who you are. They see that you were true. You were, by them spying and seeing that nothing changed about you. There was nothing fake or phony about you. You were not an illusion. You were real. And I feel like that's also what triggered this divine masculine to get more information to do the research about twin flame connections, soulmate connections, soul contracts, karmics. This divine masculine recognizes this karmic for what they are. The mask is off because this divine masculine is awakening. They're getting spiritual knowledge, right? So you were the catalyst for this divine feminine, but there's a lot of growth here. And this divine masculine sees that you are the real deal. Ain't nothing fake or phony about you. True love, genuine love. Wow.
balance. Temperance energy. I'm seeing you guys coming back into balance, Divine Feminine. There's balance happening here. Wow. And I'm seeing an abundant new beginning. The Divine Masculine seeing you. They see you now as their wish fulfillment. They understand. They understand this connection. Things are coming full circle. Things are falling into place behind the scenes. Expect some communication, Divine Feminine. I am confident in that. A lot of work has went on behind the scenes. The Divine Masculine was slow. I'm getting to come back towards you. And I feel like that's what confused you as well. So this Divine Masculine didn't try and stop you. Free will was at play though, right? Free will was at play when you walked away and they had to respect those boundaries. But I feel like because this Divine Masculine, you didn't hear from them. They didn't try and make amends. They didn't try and stop you when you walked away. So I feel like this was very painful for you. But these were hidden emotions. This Divine Masculine didn't know how to handle this. And it ended them up in a karmic cycle because I'm getting they were distorted when they were with you. That's what caused you to pull your energy back. Major shift. Major shift happening. They have a deeper knowing. They have a deeper knowing, a deeper understanding after this difficult ending, right? Deep in despair, they want to fight for this connection, still watching you, right? They have a new perspective. They recognize this karmic for who they are. And this cycle's coming to an end. So whatever this person's not saying or they didn't say, it's going to surprise you. Because I feel like it's unexpected. And it's unexpected because the way this Divine Masculine handled things when you guys separated, when you walked away, and then the time in between, not hearing anything, right? This Divine Masculine not making an effort. I feel like that's how it appeared to you. And I feel like it caused a lot of pain, right? It caused a lot of hurt with you. But you're about to get clarity, okay? So I feel like you're going to get clarity on this and I feel like it's going to change your whole perception and how you see things. And I feel like this is also going to change the trajectory of the future. The whole trajectory is going to change now going forward. So I feel like this karmic confronting this divine masculine actually expedited this divine masculine's return. This reconciliation, you guys reconnecting. Y'all, I'm leaving this reading here. Thank you guys so, so much for stopping by. I will see you for your next reading. Until next time, guys, take care. Love you. Bye.